here. Yes, sir, Papa. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> hey. What? You're welcome, my son. Papa? Eh? <laughs> Hi. If I, if How are you? I'm fine. Thank God. Thank God. You're welcome. Why is your help now? It's doing fine. Doing fine. <laughs> I shall not help us. I'm, I'm getting better. I'm good. Just uh, <laughs> stress. Yeah, try, try, try. Why all these bags? I don't understand which bags. This one. Oh, this one is your carry. Papa, I bought you clothes and then the prescribed food you asked me to bring for you. <laughs> <laughs> but did I tell you I need new clothes? Uh, Papa, do you have to tell me? I know your wardrobe now. I also know that your clothes are faded. So <laughs> I had to buy you new clothes. Those drugs are very effective. Oh, really? Very effective, I must tell you. He's prescribed a new one for my joints, for the joint pains. <laughs> but I've forgotten the name. No, Papa, don't worry about it. I'll call memory. Him. <laughs> I'll call him, he'll tell me the name. The most important thing is that you get well. Okay. How about your health? I'm fine now. Like I said, it's just um, no back pain, stress, that's all. Whatever wow. <laughs> that's a very nice improvement. But that doesn't stop you from moving around with your inhaler. Papa, I always move around with it. Uh. Yes. <laughs> I knew you should be worried, but you worry too much. Uh, I should worry now. You worry I too much. <laughs> Hey, 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 just hold it there. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for keeping you waiting. I got caught up with a tight schedule. Do you know why most relationships don't last? Maybe you should tell me. Because of too much lies and disrespect. Ah, oh, there you go again. You go what do you mean, there I go again? Do I look like I'm ranting or I don't know what I'm talking about? This is not the first time, nor the second, not even the third time that both of us will have an agreement on seeing each other. At the end of the day, you turn up whenever you like. You do things your own way, without even considering that I am the prince of this land. Maybe it's okay now. Obina, calm down. Eh? Yes, I know we had an agreement, but I told you my schedule changed when my cost rep called me that we had a practical test. Please. Your cost rep called you that you had a stupid practical? Who the hell is your cost rep? Who goes your cost rep? Are you talking to a baby? Don't you know I'm a graduate? I have been to the four walls of the university. I know everything that is happening there. What are you talking about? Listen, whenever you come up with these filthy excuses of yours, it gets me irritated. The hell are you talking about? You know about? what I am talking about? No, I don't. You know exactly what I'm talking about. I am tired of this relationship. I am tired of your nonchalant attitude. I am tired of your filthy excuses. I am tired of everything. You know what? I think you are the problem here. In fact, you are the problem here. Yeah. You are too bossy, too temperamental, too hot headed for my liking. Come up with you, are a man. Don't let your emotion control you. In, don't. Are you mad? You stupid. How dare you talk to me like that? Don't you know I am the crown prince of this land? Listen, I am the man here. Anything I say stands. I have control over you. Then maybe you should look for someone else to control, not me. Hey, yeah. you come here, you don't walk out on me, okay? Take Rick. your feet here and stop me. You're walking out on me? Listen, if you live through this gate, you will regret it. Mark my word. The only thing I regret is putting up with your authoritative attitude. Your character stinks. Work on yourself.
But you're sure you don't have anything to tell me? Ah, no, don't worry about me, son. Uh, you just have to take care of yourself, okay? Look, I can always take care of myself. The problem here is you. Promise me you'll take care of yourself. I will, son. I will. I will. Uh, let me start leaving. Goodbye, eh? Stay safe all day. Hmm? Well, take care of yourself. It's okay. If you need anything, don't hesitate to let me know. Thank you very much. Stay safe all day. Peace. Eh? Goodbye. <laughs> Bye. And as soon as I get home, I'll call you. Yes, sir. All right, now, Papa, take care. Okay. All right, Papa. Bye-bye. Yes, I sent for you. We need to talk. Sit down. Do you know that one of the qualities that makes you the man you are is the level of maturity with which you handle situations, problems, and what have you? I know about that, but what I don't know is where you are driving at. Okay. I saw your little argument with Leverage yesterday. What, father? Uh, you mean you have been snooping on me? Point of correction, my son. I was not snooping on you. Hmm? I was watching you. And I will advise you refrain from using such derogatory languages on me. I'm, I'm sorry about that, Father. Good. I, I, I thought you were busy in the palace doing one or two stuffs. Huh? I saw everything. I saw everything. I saw everything. I saw her mood before she left this palace yesterday. And I even called her and she told me everything. You called her? Yes. Father, I hope she's not feeding you with bullshit. No. Not feeding me with any bullshit. She told me everything that happened. And from what she said, I, I, I don't think she was lying to me. Now tell me, why did you have to hit her? Did she give you any reason to why I hit her? No. She insulted me. It don't matter what the reasons are. You have no reason. You have no right to hate her. She's not your wife. Even if she's your wife, you don't have the right to hate her. She's not even betrothed to you. You are two people who are trying to know each other. But father, she, she insulted me. No. She insulted the prince of this land. She did not insult you. You, you, you forced her to say those things she said that she thought was right at that particular point in time. You pushed her to say such things. Father, I don't think you understand what I'm trying to say. The thing is that whenever I and uh, Deberechi discuss something or have an agreement of something, she at the end spoils it. She doesn't keep to her words and agreement. That girl is still in school. She's still going to school. And you know, you know, the, the level of commitment she, she, she applied to her studies. You went to school yourself. You know how demanding her course is. With her level of commitment, do you think she will have time to play around? What do you mean by playing around, Father? All I want from this girl is just her time and commitment. I don't really know her too well, but 
I just want her to be communicating with me often. I just want her to be around me, to stay with me. I just want her to be committed in this relationship. That's all. Yes, but you are still with her. You will definitely get to know her. Father, thank you for your time. I, I think I, I beg to take my leave now. Excuse me. Mother, why won't father allow me to take care of my business the way I want to? Must he always interfere in my business? Must he? Well, because he is your father. And he feels he still owes you the obligation of taking care of you. Okay? Moreover, you will step into his shoes as the next king of this great kingdom. But I am tired. I am sick and tired of everyone trying to groom me up for this kingship. I am man enough. I can take care of my own responsibilities. I can take care of my own needs. I can take care of anything I want to do in this palace. Why is father stressing me? Why? Huh? My ways and my father's ways are totally different. What he does is different from what I do and what I will even do. I will rule this kingdom someday and I will rule it very fine with swag. This kingdom will have swag. He's an old man. Let him face his business. Please. Mother, talk to him. He's your husband. Talk to him to stay away from my business, especially my private affairs. Excuse me, mother. I don't tell you say you need rest. I don't tell you say you need rest, but they insist say you want to finish Mama K work. Eh? What do they do like that? You need to rest. Mama K. Mama K. Mama K don't give me almost 18 minutes ago. 18 minutes ago. She, she no give me rest. This mama can work now in your life. Which one the important pass? Eh? On your chin as on as on we are. You have to save your life first. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your concern. It's just, it's just, I have plenty, plenty work, plenty work to do. So if I continue to waste time, the jobs will be piling up. See, uh, leave that mama key work first. You need to rest. Come and help you. May you go rest first. Come on, you get with to. I'm gonna leave this work first. Move go. Ah, yourself, you the last stress yourself. I'm gonna leave Mama K. Mama K, let's see the world in Mama K. Then go outside and do things. Your health first, I beg. I've been through so many things, but life is full of agony. I've been through so hard times. What will I do? Where will I go? Oh, oh. What 
Hello, son. Hello, Papa. How are you doing? I'm all right, Papa. And you? Yes, son. Um, there's something that has been troubling my mind, which I would want you to know about. Papa, I hope there's no problem. Ah, no problem, no problem. It's just that what I want to tell you is very, very important. And, and we cannot talk about it on the phone? Ah, no, 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 no. This is not a phone thing. So, so I would want you to come back first thing tomorrow morning, okay? All right, Papa. I'll, I'll be on my way to see you first thing tomorrow. Okay. So take good care of yourself, eh? All right, Papa. Uh, please take care of yourself. Oh. I'll see you tomorrow. It's all right. Oh, the most beautiful one. You're here. Could you quickly to see your father? Hey, come on. Why are you such in a hurry? I am here to see your father. He called me. He called you because of me. And moreover, I've been calling your number and you're not speaking my calls, even text messages. But you don't reply my text message. What is going on? I don't have to. Please, allow me to see your father. I don't have a lot of time. Come here, baby girl. Cobb, why are you such a drama queen? Huh? What is it? What is stressing you up? Listen, you're too beautiful to be acting like this. You're such a drama queen. Oh, please. <laughs> See, the sun is too harsh for us to start having this kind of argument. Okay? I know that you're mad at me. But you need to calm down. Alright? Calm down. We can sort whatever it is amicably. I've, I've missed you. Let me take you to a more befitting place so we can sit and dialogue and talk about this thing. Okay, my love? Come on. Give me that smile. <laughs> Let's go. Ah, uh, my baby. Look at you. Beauty personified. <laughs> Your skin glowing. Hmm? Who said the beautiful ones are not yet born? That person must be a joker because you are a true definition of beauty. Everything about you is just unique. Fantastic. See, my love. You know, what is actually going on in our relationship is just one little thing. We are trying to process to know each other. We are still on that process. That is why you see these things happening. And there is something you should know. It is not all relationship that is perfect. But the thing that is affecting me and I think is also affecting our relationship is we are allowing people to mingling into our relationship. People are talking into our relationship and it's wrong. If I hear you correctly, who are the people we are talking about? Your father? Well, for your information, I never called your father. He called me first. I know. The most beautiful one. I know. As a matter of fact, we even had a conversation about it. But the thing is, we are both adults. In no time, you will be my wife. You will be the queen of this land. We will both rule this kingdom together. So we should try and understand ourselves. Okay? Listen. Anything that is going wrong, let us sit together like husband and wife and settle it amicably than allowing anybody to come in and dictate or interfere in our relationship. That's just my problem. And I know I did wrong to hit you, but you also know that you're the one that caused it. How? How? I was trying to explain to you, you wouldn't listen. What do you expect me to do? Fold my arms and watch you nag me out? No. No, it's okay. I accept. It's okay. 
but we should not dwell in the past okay let us focus on the future because we are the future we'll have beautiful kids handsome kids together so we are the future i'm so sorry for whatever i did to you it will never happen again my love okay smile for me see i like it when you smile <laughs> i'm so sorry let us focus on the future because it's in the future that everything about us dwells. I love you so much and I will not hurt you again. Promise. It's a promise, my queen. It's okay. It's okay. Like you said, we're in the process of getting to know ourselves. Fighting will not bring out anything positive. And let us respect each other's opinion and listen to each other. I believe everything will turn out perfectly well. Everything will definitely turn out well, my love. And don't eat me again. I will never hit you again. Promise. The only place I will hit you is in the bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> don't even hit me there. Don't hit me there. Don't hit me there. You play with me there. Don't hit me there. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not your biological father. Let me tell you how I got to know your mother. It was so many years ago. Standard. Okay. I need your help. Uh, I don't know if you can help me with your phone. I want to make a call. My phone? Yes, sir. Hello? For what, please? Sir, please, I want to make a call. Okay. Well, please, you have to be fast. Okay, sir. I will. Uh-uh, Tochi. Since when you begin answer Becky? Come on, speak to me, please. Uh, now me, if you didn't, ma. Uh-uh, babe. How far? Just like, what's the app? Oh, my dear. But since when you come begin answer Becky now? Mo babe, my side did somehow. As I they follow you talk now, nah, I don't get where to pull head. Eh? Mo babe, I know they did again. I beg, I know they did again. Mo babe, no waiting, I'll come to tell you for phone. Where you did like this? Hey, I don't finish. Babe, what do you want to do for Ghana? Uh, uh, I want to go also full time. I want to die the street. Street? And which one can be street again? I'm not a husband. I want to make a husband and everything. I see why I'm in the bathroom. You know, boys are not full of us when they run shit. They tell what it is. I want to find a girl like you. Okay, babe, just leave all this thing where you did talk. But now, now where I will put my head sleep this night? I beg, are they stranded? Carry your bag. Come meet me 
The, the condition why they now no feed you that kind of thing. Eh? Oh, I beg no way if you help me. Please be fast now. Hello? My card is cool. This guy don't call it cool. Thank you. You're welcome. Come on, please, I won't buy beans and bread. Where 
How are you, baby? Hey! Fine, baby. Hey! You too fine, no. What do you define for here now? Eh. Uh, I define the landlord of this house. You define the landlord of this house? Yes, sir. Ha! Now, maybe the landlord now. Eh. Now, maybe the landlord of this house now. Ah, thank God. So, what you, what you be your problem? What I feel do for you now? I won't know if you get more space inside where I feel just go stay for now. Small space? Yes, sir. You mean now? You're a very lucky girl, though. I have only one space. I have one empty space for here. Okay. But the rent na thirty thousand naira every year, both agreement and agent. Okay. Now small money now you go fit pay him now. Thirty thousand naira. Yes now. Hmm. Oh. Mm -hmm. I don't get that kind of money now, but I swear if they pay me, eh, I'll come give <laughs> you the money. If they pay you. <laughs> okay. How much? How much you fit pay? Nah, nah, nah. How much you fit pay? Mm. Mm. How much? Now five thousand naira. Five thousand. Yes. Five thousand. Five thousand. No, even buy me my market tea. What they drink from Mama Karu joint? If I go the last one myself, what do I go take five thousand do now? Ah, five thousand. God, five thousand. Okay, just consider me. Okay, just consider me. Okay, no hala. I don't hear you. I will just do them for one thing because say you fine, you be fine here. I will just do one for you, eh? Stand up. Aya. Oh, you find where where God created you well, oh. Thank you. Uh -huh. Eh, hey, what will be your name, sir? My name is Ifedima. Ifedima. Oh, you be Igbo girl? Yes. Hey, Igbo girls, who they find? You know they find where where, lo. Hey, I like Igbo girls. I know how I make. I show you, eh? Yes. Yeah, come. Thank you, sir. If I show you, after what I show you, eh? If you realize you go like them, you go like them where where. Okay, no I can show you. Go go go. I mean your landlord. Ah, if you ma, how are you today? Mm. I hope so you sleep well, well. Yes, sir. Um, I don't get chair for my 
Mm, so, if it's not for bed. No worry, I go manage here while you're there. No worry, no worry yourself now. Mm? No worry. Hey, what do you do, right, yourself? An application letter. I see job vacancy for one shop, so they see me can bring up come. Huh? Application? Fine girl like you, no supposed to disturb yourself. You no supposed to work. Hmm? You too fine. You no say, like, as me are you there now. Nah. Hmm? If you begin the. Concord with me, eh? We begin the, eh? I will take care of you. I will do you well. Hmm? I know how to treat a woman. Hmm? Yeah. yeah, I know how to treat a woman. Really? <laughs> yeah. You can go out anywhere. Just ask people about me. I'll be correct guy. You don't be saying uh, anything. I'll be correct guy. Even that your house rent. I feel for you. I feel you for you. Yeah. Yes, now. Yeah. I feel that one has nothing. But, um, on one condition, Sha. Condition? Yes. Which condition be that? You know, say, um, I be man. And fine girl like you. Hey, hey. You too fine, oh. I would like make me and you. Make me and you, they, they do that no matter. That, you know, they could they knock. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, no, I don't feel do that kind of thing for my condition now. No fit. See, you go wait there. Eh? If I bump picking, then anything where you want. Eh? Just get patient. Make I wait? Yes. This is your condition? Hey, this is your condition at the highest. I have seen at the highest. Now, when women, they like her. Now, that time, if you knock them, they think they sweet them. So that they go born well. As you think like this, now, you person where go they touch you, where they pamper you before you go born your picking. Now, you know. Mm -hmm. ah, now, the best time, oh. Hmm? I'm gonna load no feet. If not for my belly, I'll go bone picking. I'll burn them a bit. No worry about that one. Yeah. Thank you. Um, okay, I'll do a hala. I don't have to wait till you talk. I'll go wait. I'll go wait, but let it be as you talk more. Hmm? No problem. No problem. Uh, but I go uh, Mara Karo place. Joint. But I wash my mouth today. What did I go do? <laughs> and I let her. Eh? Sit down here, they do. When customer day to attend, all those places you don't wash them. You better sorry for yourself. I'm sorry I won't chop. I'm sorry I won't want pull food for my, my table. If you know say this work don't tire you, there are a lot of people outside there where they look for this work. You hear what they tell you? Oh, yeah, go wash them now. Me attend to customer. Me go attend to them. If I did ma, if I did ma, if I did ma, what is this gear now? If I did ma, what is this gear now? What is this gear now? What will I do? If I didn't ma Jesus. If I didn't ma What is your problem now? What is that? What is it? Eh? See me see problem oh Hey! Your baby Hey! Please! Please around! Neighbors oh! Come and help me oh! Neighbors! Hey! Hey! Take a music! I'm not the one that pregnant you now! Nah. Hey! Sorry! Hey! Hey! You are beating me too much! Sorry! Sorry! Hey, I'm not the one that presented you now. Nah. Take a miss now. Nah. Hey, who is come and help me in the so? Who is around? Hey, oh, yeah, let me manage. Let me. Hey, hey, easy. You fed him, ma. Hey, your baby is he coming out? Hey, 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 sit down here. Let me go and call the neighbors, eh? Just manage, sit down. Hey. If you did, I might go call the neighbors. Eh? 
and that was how she gave that to you. Despite not having enough money, but she was happy to hold you in her arms and stare at your handsome face. But your bat seems to bring another mystery to her life. Why nursing you after two months? Two months. Two months. She had to go back to her workplace because she hadn't enough money to feed you and herself. Hey, good afternoon. How are you doing now? Good afternoon. Welcome. How are the family? Doing fine. How yeah. business, sir? We thank God for today. Uh, Oga, I don't come with Zoom work. Hey, uh, I'm so sorry. Another person don't take over. Take over? Yeah, another person don't they work. No, sir, no few wait for you. May you come back. And my business now, no few later. Go, go. But Oga, you know, it's not be my fault now, eh? I just I know, put to bed. I begin even there. Just two months. I know it's not your fault, but this one I know if you use my business, play. So, which I'll feel, I'll show you now. If you wait for next month, we have space there. I'll put you. Okay. Okay, next month, fun now. I beg, just find one place where you just trip me. Make I just de manage myself there. No space now till next month. That is the only thing I can do for you. Go okay, beg now. Wait for next month. Oga? Okay. Wait for less motor. Who is there? It's me. Who? Your landlord. Okay. <sighs> ah, fine, girl. How are you doing now? How are you now? I've been come check you before. I don't see you. Where you been going? Ah. Fine girl. This one you know the degree talk to me. What did that happen now? I be you don't start this your shakara. You know this all these fine girls and shakara. Eh? There's a bit of shakara well, well, because you're not too fine. <laughs> you're not too fine, well, well. <laughs> uh, that one not be anything, sir. Talk to me now. Ah. This is the way you do me like this, sir. What is that happen now? Fine, girl. Oh, come on, Abeg, leave me. Eh? What is that now? Abeg, I cannot take that mood now, Abeg. Just go, just go, Abeg. I should go. This is the way you come there harsh like this now. Have you tell me and you agree to run things when you don't burn your picking? You don't agree to run things. Where are you now? Ah. What's in the happen now? Talk to me now. Oh, God, no, leave me. See this girl, though? This is where you can't de deny everything now. You look me at the same small picking. You agree to run this when you don't burn your picket this. Now you deny everything. Eh? What is your problem now? Eh? Fange, talk to me now. You don't want to talk to me. See, you we, we don't get any place to sleep. You walk. I don't know what you can you come come my house. You can't they beg me, say you don't get any place to stay. Say, I say give you a place where you go, just relax. I give you my house. I give you my house oh, because of your condition. And you even they owe me eight months, eight months, uh, 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 this thing, right? You go pay me my balance, oh. you go pay me my balance. Eh? Ha! See this girl, oh. this thing that you get sense, pass. See, you go pay me my balance, or I go show you saying that me be your landlord. 
I will show you something. Now, what is happening now? You say, everything when you get here, you go back and come out from here. You go back and come out. Ah. Ah. I think so. Still, me say, my God push me for work this morning. Okay? I've no face. Nothing concerns me and concerns your girl. What I know is you go leave this place. You go... Or oh, you want me to call the whole villager or the whole time they help me push you from this place. No matter now. I don't think so. Okay. See, I will hold you so they pay me. Okay, the money can give you. I just pity me. You go home. You even pity me. Say pity my picking when they for your bed. Waiting concern me and your picking. Now me give you belle. You no go go five person when give you belle. Eh? You carry your you carry your your, your body go give small picking. They do you any hard. They pregnant you run. You can't carry your problem. Can't they pull from my head? See. Come on. I say go out from this place. Pack your things and leave from here. I said, pack your things and leave this place. Ah. I've been through so many things. My life is full of agony. I've been through so hard times. I've been through so many things. My life is full of agony. I've been through so hard times. What will I do where will I go oh, oh. what will I do I don't understand why why did she decide to to suffer does she have relatives and family members she could run to? You think if she has someone, she would like to suffer like that? <laughs> At least she has a background. She has a place she came from. Yes, she has a background. But having a background, does not mean that there's anyone there she could look up to. Take yourself for instance. Since you were a little boy and now a full grown man, have I introduced you to anybody as a member of your family? I'm the only one you know as a member of your family. Now, some families may have different stories. Some are good and some are sad stories. And your mother's case is not different. She lost her parents when she was a little child. And she started fending for herself at that tender age. She knew this that there was nobody there for her. That was why she started suffering. Your mother moved into that uncompleted building to shelter you from rain and sun. And unfortunately, that became where she lives until I came to know her. Oh, how are you? <laughs> Afternoon, please sit. Oh. Let me help you. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Look at my baby. <laughs> so, how, how are you doing today? I'm fine. So, um, how about you? Is it going down? Yes. 
And thank you so much for the drugs. It really helped. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. You keep on thanking me. Eh? It's nothing. Mm, that reminds me, you didn't go to work today. Um, actually, I was feeling feverish this morning. But I'm getting better now. I had no idea. Hmm? Mm. If I may ask you, where do you work? Mm. Oh, sorry, baby. Mm -hmm. oh. So, um, what type of job do you do? Okay. I'm a sales rep. I where they sell baby things. Sales rep. So, uh, how much is your salary, if I may ask? Okay. She pays me 10,000 now. 10,000? Ah, 10,000 is too poor now. What can 10,000 possibly do in this our country now? Ah, mm, ah well, at least it's better than staying at home. Um, this is why you came to my shop. Did you come to buy something or... You to sit with me, to discuss with me, and you know. Actually, I came to buy something. Yeah, but Ogamatsu, I don't know how to to say this. I know I'm I'm owing you a lot, but I promise my salary. If you man, I'm not complaining. I'm not. Eh? So what do you want to buy? What do you want? Okay. I have just um, 300 naira with me. So if you just in do me, I will manage. Let me get you in do me. <clears throat> you said in do me, huh? Yes. Just in do me. Do you, do you... Do you have soap? Let me add soap for you. <clears throat> Sorry, what the answer? Uh, I will put some biscuits for him too. Egg is good for the the baby. We take some eggs. What is? <laughs> okay. Ah. Um. Um. Okay. Have this. Come on, sir. Yeah. Have this. I see only in the meal. I just mm. have three hundred naira with me. It's okay, I'm not complaining. Did I complain? It's okay, okay? Hmm? I'm doing it for you and the baby, okay? Mm, so don't so worry. Much. Thank you so much. Yeah, you go again. There you go again. You keep thanking me. It's all right. Eh? You think? <laughs> Let me carry him some more. <laughs> Here. I came to see you. You scared the hell out of me. I'm sorry. It's okay. So why are you here? I just came. Hope you are not angry. No, I'm not. It's just that I'm not comfortable allowing people. Anyways, you're welcome. Thank you. Please sit. Um, I'm comfortable here. Do you want me to come and help you? Oh. So, this is where you stay? In the meantime, yes. Mm. I guess you make it a better place for you, for yourself. 
Anyways, if you say so, then you're welcome to my humble abode. But um, don't be offended. I'm, I'm still trying to understand why you would leave your show and the important things you're doing to come see me. Well, I was feeling like it. Maybe there's interesting things I need to know about you. Interesting story? Trust me, there is nothing, absolutely nothing about me. Said by someone who lives in an uncompleted building with a baby. To be honest with you, you arose my curiosity. So tell me, what brought you here? And for how long have you been living in this place with your baby? I'm sorry for bringing this up. I don't really know what your story is. I don't really know why you are living here with your baby. But no matter what the ugly situation is, well, if you don't feel like saying anything, I will understand. Trust me, I understand perfectly. It's not that. I'm trying to keep it a secret. Because whenever I think about it, it makes me cry. Staying in this lonely place without any companion or anyone makes the problem worse. So there's no need of keeping it. If Edema, I really want to know what happened to you. Tell me, I want to know. If Edema, a problem shared, they said, is a problem I've solved. I really want to know what your story is. The reason I came here was that I was pushed out of the place I was staying. It's just a few miles away from here. The landlord that owns the place is a drunken lunatic. He was lost in over me. He tried to sleep with me. What? While I was still pregnant. This is bad. Why would someone want to sleep with a helpless pregnant woman? I really don't know how people think. <sighs> I was playing along with him. Until he realized what I was doing. So he chased me out of his house. I wonder how people think these days. It is just so sad. No, 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 no. Mba. But you cannot touch that one. I might not be able to raise it before then. And I can go back to Peter now and... Oh, I'm still paying the one I borrowed. But these people need help. That place they are staying is not conducive. Especially for that baby. It's too dangerous. Hi, they are helpless. They can't continue to live there. Ogamatu! Ogamatu, good afternoon! Ogamatu! Oh. Uh, try to sleep like this now. Yes. You try to sleep like one of my friends, because if you don't take this in tea when they take it, I'll say you're going to sleep right now. Don't do that. Uh -uh. What do you want by? Can't you want about two of coke? What do you want by? Hey, cool. Hey, bring that up. I'm cool. Put them for Lilo. Is it too cool now? Nah, eh, never day your side. Never no day now. Put them for money now. How much is it? I'm 250. I'm 250. No get changed. No come back for changing. 
I got no come back home. Before I go to listen to sleep, that person smoke you go. I they come, oh, I they come. Hello, if you do. Good morning. Morning. How are you? Okay. Um. But, Ogamati, I thought you said you come in the afternoon. Yes, I changed my mind. Yes, as a matter of fact, it seems to be a matter of urgency. Matter of urgency. So, what could be urgent you need to tell me? I don't want to tell you anything. What? Rather, I want to show you something. So, go inside and bring the baby. Let's go. Okay. Okay, be fast. Ogamatsu, so where are we going to? Don't worry, when we get there, you will know. Hmm? Let's just go. How long are you going to keep me curious like this? If it didn't matter. Hmm? Calm down. I'm sorry for causing you any trouble. Hmm? Just calm down. Hmm? It will worth it when we get there. Okay? Let's just go first. Actually, this is the place I got for drawing your baby to stay. Wait, Okamatsu, like, are you serious? You got us an apartment. Exactly. Oh, I... Okamatsu, Okamatsu, thank you so much. Okay. Just care. Oh, Okamatsu, thank you for everything you've been doing for us. It's okay. Pay the one, get off. Okay. Oh. Um. I paid, I paid for one year, so you and your baby can stay here for now. Oh, come on, thank you so much. May God be God to bless you. It's okay, oh, it's okay. You never lack anything, Jesus. It's okay, it's okay. Amen. Um, later you come to the shop, I will give you 120,000. I suggest you use it to start up a business that is not capital intensive. Gamatu, thank you so much. I'm just short of words. Gamatu, thank you so much. God right. continue to bless you. Ah, it's all right. It's all right, okay? <sighs> just relax yourself. Mm, make yourself at home. Then when you are free, you need anything, you just come to the shop. Okay? Okay, sir. All right. I'll be at the shop. All right, take care of yourself. Gamatu, bye bye. Just a very sad and painful story. Your mother invested that money 
in food selling. Because the money wasn't enough to rent a shop. So she was hawking food around the neighborhood with a wheelbarrow. She was making good money. Your mother was a very smart woman. I missed her so much. And all that you... And all that you have just narrated. You seem to be the only one around my mother. Was there any sort of relationship where were you both in love? No. We weren't in love then. But I was compelled to help her because she was suffering because of you. Hello, Mimi, how are you? In a Kofuma? Uh -uh. What happened? What happened, Mimi? Uh -huh. What happened to Papa? Jesus! Stroke? So, when did it happen? How? How did it happen? So good here now. Which kind of problem? What kind of problem is this now? What kind of problem is this now? Eh? So what have you people done so far? Eh? Hi. Like okay, like how much is he charging? Chimo, Chimo, hey! You cannot get that kind of money now. The thing is too much, Kwanu now. Eh? 250,000 is too much now. Where can I get? Oh. Eh, Mimi, eh? I understand, eh? I have to cry, eh? I will try my possible best and see if I can raise the money, eh? I'm coming to the village tomorrow or next, eh? So don't cry. Don't worry, eh? I'm coming. It is now. It's well to be fine.
Hello? Oga Mati, good afternoon. How are you? Oga Mati, I brought you food, but um, your shop is locked. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't tell you. Um, I'm on my way to the village now. What? On your way to the village? Hope no problem. Yes, yes, I'm very sorry. Um, something came up. It's urgent. It's an emergency. So what exactly is going on? I'm not in the right place to tell you now, but when I get back, I'll tell you, okay? Just... Okay, Matthew, you're actually making me uncomfortable. You know that. You know I'll be coming to your shop today, and you don't tell me that I'll be traveling. Now you can't even give me a hint of what is going on. I said I'm sorry now. I'm very, very sorry. Eh? Don't worry, when I come back, I'll tell you everything. Eh? It's just an emergency. I need to take care of a few things in the village. Ah, okay, now promise me when you come back, you will tell me everything. All right. Your wish is my command, madam. <laughs> okay, now, safe journey. Okay, take care of yourself, okay? Don't worry, I'll be back. I'll be back a day or two. Or two. Bye. Hello? Good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. Sir, please, I will pay. Eh? I know I'm owing you some money. Eh? I will pay you, sir. I will pay you. I promise you. Just open my shop for me. I will pay. Eh? Please, please. What? Uh -uh. What are you doing in the police station? Are you back from the village already? Yes, I came back yesterday evening, but I was arrested this morning. Arrested? So you came back from the village without even telling me? I wanted to call you this morning, but this happened. I'm sorry. Okay, no problem. So what is the problem now? Okay, just hang on there. I'm coming. I'm coming. You are not happy. I can tell from the look on your face. You have every right not to be happy. I'm sorry. The fact is, I never wanted to bother you because of some reasons. What reason is that? Obviously, because you think I'm one poor, stupid, hopeless girl who needs help from people. You don't believe I can help you, right? Please don't say that. Please. Come on. Not that you cannot help me. I'm not saying that. But I just feel that there are more important things you need to take care of. Like you and the baby. I'm sorry you gave me that impression. I mean, what will it take you to call me when you received the call that your father was sick? What will it take you to call me when you came back? You collected a loan from the bank because of me. Unfortunately, you couldn't pay back. And you couldn't even let me know until you get to a point where you don't have any option than to call me. I'm sorry. 
I'm really sorry. Please forgive me. Please. It's okay, no need for apologies. But promise me, henceforth, there'll be no more secrets between us. Okay, no more secrets. It's okay. So how is your father? Mm. What really happened? <clears throat> he had stroke. So yeah, my cousin's sister called me and said my father woke up one morning and was unable to move his right hand and his right leg. So that was why I went to the village. Sure. Promise me, henceforth, there'll be no more secrets between us. Okay, no more secrets. It's okay. So how is your father? Mm. What really happened? Boss lady, <laughs> oh, you're welcome. Come and sit down. <laughs> Let me get another seat. Hey, boss lady, you oh. welcome. First lady, how are you doing? Pursuit words. Wow, a pursuit. <laughs> As if you know I'm hungry. <laughs> I'll eat it later. Um, Ogamatsu, I'll be going to the market now. Mm -hmm. I want to go and get some food stuff for tomorrow's business. Mm -hmm. I won't business take long. Woman. A business woman. <laughs> so, Ogamatsu, I won't take long, okay? Um, um, one minute. Um. Why don't you drop um, if I chuku here with me now? Eh? At least it will help you so that you will be fast in what you you are doing in the market. Uh, I can take care of him. Ogamatsu, won't he disturb you? No, 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 no. Now he's a gentleman. Now, nah. if I chuku, tell your mother that he's even laughing. He's even laughing. <laughs> <He's even> laughing. <laughs> hey, just drop him here. I will take care of him, eh? My boy, <laughs> I will take care of him. Okay. Hmm? Okay. Uh, uh, All right. Um, see, please, and uh, that reminds me, and uh, there's, there's something very important I want us to discuss. Something important? What yes. When you come back, I will discuss it with you. Oh? Okay. Mm. <laughs> yes, he's laughing. He's laughing. All right. <laughs> I will say so. Oh, if I uh, tell your mommy bye bye. Uh oh, my boy, more. Uh. You are growing so big, oh. you're growing so big. Ah, see, I have, I have um surprise for you. Then when your mom come, I will give your mom the greater surprise. Eh, see what I have for for you. Eh, uh oh. See, <laughs> you see. 
I will soon be your stepdad. <laughs> mm -hmm. Don't worry, I will take care of you as my own son. Eh? I will take care of you. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, you will be happy with me. Mm -hmm. Atamu. That's my daddy love you. That's mine. Ada apa? Right, I beg, can you go market? Yeah. Oh, you find me, okay? I'm gonna buy a glass. Is it fine? Wait, nah. Oh, stop this, you're playing. I'm not playing. Maybe you play. I'm gonna be there. You're one. You're one. You're one. Okay. No, what I'll carry you go. Now my bag, now even I'll probably carry you go. No shaky. That's not the issue. Now come down, I beg. She had an accident. Jesus. Jesus. Along the express road. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, How? How? Express road. How? How? Take, oh, me there. Take, me there. Take 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 me there. I've been through so many things. My life is full of agony. I've been through so hard times. I've been through so many things. My life is full of agony. I've been through so hard time. What will I do? Where will I go? Oh, oh. What will I do? Her death. For her demise devastated me completely. You saved my life. You... You prevented me from... from I'm going out with her on that fateful day. Hmm. Yeah. You were fortunate. It truly happens. Who is my father? Your father is Ezena, the famous king of Obiechina Kingdom. Um, Your Majesty, I think Chief Anoze is right. He is correct. I mean, in my own humble opinion, if you ask me, I would say let us take charge of that land, create a barricade. Build it around that land. Mobilize the youth and take charge. Let us be in charge of that land. No, no, my son. I, I don't agree with you. That is not what I am expecting you to say. You see, when we adopt this method, people will see it as if we are trying to annex that land. We adopted that uh, method many years back but 
they resulted in you know deadly consequences because we lost a lot of our young you know our youths with that confrontation with the Obolo people. Uh, my king, I think I aligned myself with you in this position. Um, what we are uh, suggest we do is that um, we adopt a more diplomatic approach. Your Majesty, did you say diplomacy? These people are very violent and they wouldn't adhere to anything diplomacy. Yes, uh, maybe because we have also been violent towards them. You understand? We, 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 all the time we match violence with violence, they have to, you know, fight back. Are you ready? I don't know, but I have a funny feeling about this whole movement. <sighs> but we don't have a choice. Hmm? We don't have a choice. Good day, sir. Yes. I, so you came for. I hope this is the royal house of King Ezenna. Yes, yes. Okay. We are here to see him. And it's very, very important. Please give me a minute. I'm coming. It's okay. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. You are here to see the king? Yes, exactly. Is there a way that you are coming? No, he's not aware, but what you came to see me is very important. So, who do I tell him that he's looking for him? Oh, he doesn't even know us, that he fed him man sent us. A maid who served him a long time ago. Okay, wait, I'll be right back. It's okay. Okay, Your Majesty. Let me ask you this simple question, my father. How do you intend to use this diplomatic tactics to end this animosity between us and the people of Opolo Kingdom that has been going on for years, that has been in existence for years, this war? Well, it is very simple. We sit down and uh, have a, a, a useful dialogue with the king. He understand. And, um, you know, that land has a lot of treasures. We can, you know, simply reach a mutually beneficial, you know, dialogue and agreement. Uh, Your Majesty, if we go into any negotiation of not taking over hundred percent of what belongs to that land, that means we are giving up our right. That land rightly belongs to us. Yeah. I don't agree with you. You know that both kingdoms been fighting over this land for a very long time and there's a lawsuit that have not declared either we or them the rightful owner of that land then how dare you say the land belongs to us or do you want to add more fire mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nah. Okay. 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 you know violence they get it by force uh, yes okay uh, just, just give me a moment, eh? I'll be right back. When I come back, when the king comes back, uh, did you say if I didn't mind? That, that's uh -huh. yeah. that name sounds familiar. Long time ago. So, who are those people now? Your Majesty, they say you don't know them. Your Majesty, but if you didn't mind, sent them. I, I guess they want to see you personally. Ah, okay. Um, bring them to the compound, eh? Make them comfortable. Hmm? Let me finish the meeting. But please don't tell anybody anything about that. As you wish, Your Majesty. Good. My chief guy told me you are from um, Ifedima, right? Yes, Your Majesty. Um, Your Majesty. Um, 
I hope you know Iferima. Yes. She worked here many years ago. Yes. Your Majesty. Um, your affair you had with the Iferima um, resulted to uh, a, a pregnancy. And uh, the result of the pregnancy, Your Majesty, is this young man sitting by me. If Edima was pregnant for me in this house and she did not tell me, she disappeared to God knows where, had the baby and did not tell me. I didn't hear anything about her and the baby till now. You now walked into my palace telling me that this full-fledged young man is my son. How does that sound to you? Doesn't this sound like a joke? Okay, okay, well, hold on. Where is Ifedima right now? Your Majesty, she died a long time ago. Sorry about that. But then, the, 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 the story you brought here, I mean, is incomprehensible to me. It does not convince me that this young man is my son. Your Majesty, a DNA test will confirm this claim. What's all these um, whispering and side talks all about? I saw my husband's reaction when you whispered something into his ears. It was strange. Who were those men? I'm sorry, Your Majesty, but I am not in a position to divulge any information to you. What's the meaning of that? It was another, Your Majesty. You know, it's so funny that something will be happening in this palace and you of all people will keep it away from me. Uzo, I ask you again, what is going on? Your Majesty, please don't misunderstand me. I have nothing to keep away from you. Maybe this is a problem the King wants to handle confidentially. But if you insist, you can make inquiry from him. Really? Yes, Your Majesty. It's all right. You can go. Son, I have told you to back off. This is my problem and I am handling it. It is your problem, you see? Yes. Father, Father, for some time now in this palace, you've been acting strange. And I'm here to know what the problem is. And you're shutting me out. Nobody is shutting you out of anything. You see, this is just a situation and I know you don't have powers to make any decisions in it. You don't get my point, Father. My point is, even if I don't have the powers to make decisions in this kingdom or in this palace, mm. don't I have the right to know what is going on? Don't I? Okay, son. Okay, son. Don't worry. You will soon do it enough. Um, where is my phone? The... Where is this doctor now? Hello, uh, doctor. 
Oh, good day. How's your family? Oh, we are fine. We are fine. Um, there's a serious issue that just arose in the palace here, and uh, I know you are going to be of great uh, help. Oh, no, 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 no. Nobody is sick. Nobody is sick. Um, I would want uh, a DNA test done. Yes. Oh, you are coming down. It's okay. I'll wait for you. Good. Father. Yes. Did I hear you say DNA test? DNA test, yes. What is going on in this palace? Son, don't worry. You will soon find out. What is going on? Oh, it's okay. Calm down. Hello, mother. Mother, can you hear me? Yes. Can you imagine? Father just called the doctor now and requested for a DNA test. Yes! A DNA test! What? You have to do something, mother, please. Okay. Thank you. Oh, doctor. Gracious. You're welcome. How are you doing? I'm doing great, sir. Yes. I'm sorry I kept you waiting. I had a lot to take care of. Oh, it's okay. You are here now, so okay. shall we? Yes, sir. Mm. Where is the other party, sir? Um, come. Go and call me that young man. Can be delayed. Destiny cannot change. Whatever will be, will be. No matter what you do, you cannot change. Here we are, Doctor. That is the young man. Oh, okay. Uh, <clears throat> uh, let's go for your hair sir. How can a full grown up man like this come into the palace claiming to be the son of our king? My sister, I'm as confused as you are, serious. So, what is the king saying about that? Oh! My father said uh, DNA test has been carried out. So let's wait and see the outcome of the results. Yes, I'm telling you. Let's hurry to the market before I you get to it. Let's go. Sorry for asking your majesty. What is all this DNA test and the situation in the royal house all about? Well, doctor, 
do not worry about the details okay I want to let you know that um, whatever the result is I mean the DNA test whatever the result may be I want you to tell my husband that he is not the father of that bastard I will pay you four million naira I'll give you two million as deposit then the balance on completion uh, <clears throat> I am sorry your majesty but I'm th I think you're putting me on a tight part here what if I do what you are asking me to do and the king proceeds to do the DNA test somewhere else what do you think doctor you know how much my husband trusts you you know he believes in you there's absolutely no way you will give him a result or a report and he will contest it you know it's not possible so two million naira now two million naira later i guess we have a deal that i made the transfer now i still have your details i'm going to do this right now I can't believe Father did all this. Well, he did it. Ha! Huh. But that was a long time ago. But can't you see? The past now is haunting him. Huh? It's haunting him. And how would the people of this land perceive it? That the king slept with his maid. Well, our people will not even believe it. They will not know. Even if they know, <sighs> they will see it as a lie. Oh. So, yes, don't worry. It's, the doctor is here. I'm handling it, okay? Okay. Hi, doctor. Uh, you're welcome. You're welcome. Yeah. So, doctor, uh, um, what do you have in your results? Just calm your nerves. Calm down, my friends. I understand the whole thing is making you very nervous. But your mother already got it handled. I told you. I told you. Mother, I am losing my mind. I am losing my mind. Just calm down. Calm down. But if you are very anxious to know what is it the result, why don't we, why don't you follow me? Of right? course. Let's go. Cannot change whatever will be, it will be no matter what you do, you cannot change. Yeah, 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 So what do you go ahead and tell us what the uh, thing? It's all right, Your Majesty. Uh, well, from a very strict examination of the hair sample, I found out that this young man here, I mean, this young man happens to be your son, Your Majesty. 
Really? Yes, really. That was what I found. I think I'm done here. I have to take my leave. Better take my leave. Bullshit! This is nonsense! Doctor! 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 More than She just hear what this one said. What the hell is this, mother? What the hell is this? Don't you say the God discovered? I did, I did, son. If you did, so what was that stupid doctor? What was he talking about? Huh? Probably he was playing games. Was playing games? <laughs> Does this look like a child's play, mother? What kind of games was he playing? How can that intruder, that stupid boy, be part of this family? Come on, do something now, do something. Fine, fine, I will. Just calm down. Okay? I don't want to calm down, mother. Just do something. I will. For, someone has to stop father from this madness. Else, I will do something that he will not like. You know me too well. I will do something that the whole village will crumble. Please. Calm down. Okay? Calm down. Hello? So, that is what it is, right? Listen, I did not ask you to kill anyone. Listen, watch your tone whenever you're talking to me. I am the queen. All right, just have it in mind that you have caused a big problem in my family. Oh, please. What is he talking about, mother? Huh? What? Rubbish. Whoa! What is all this now? Huh? To be frank with you, I I can't thank you enough for what you just did. It takes a, a lot of wisdom and courage for a man to do what you just did. Uh, my son wouldn't have uh, known where he came from were he not for you. Uh, so I, to appreciate you, I am going to Transfer three million naira to you. Yes. Your Majesty, three million naira for me? Isn't that too much? Uh, you know, I think you deserve more than that. Mm -hmm. But um, anytime you want anything, just call upon me, okay? Uh, you are always welcome here. Whatever you want, I'll make sure you have it. Chai, Your Majesty. You have a heart of gold, but I'll ask for one favor, please. What is it? Your Majesty, if I grew up to be asthmatic, and as you can see, your wife and your son are mad at this kind of situation. So, I want him to be protected. Seriously protected. No, you don't have to even say it. Mm? I am going to make sure that he's protected. Mm? You don't have to worry about it, anything. I will make sure, you know, he doesn't go through any stress and everything will be taken care of. He's my son, after all. Your Majesty, God bless you abundantly. And you too. Thank you. Okay. 
Sorry, I don't do alcohol. No, it's non alcoholic. <laughs> no, I just saw it. I don't do alcohol, thank you. I'm sorry, my friends. Should I take it back? Please. Sorry for your stress. No problem, my friends. Your father wants to talk to you. All right, I'm coming. I don't know how to say this, but. I want you to know that the way the whole thing happened was not entirely my fault and um, I am deeply sorry. I may have caused your mother and you, you know, a lot of pains. Um, but um, I am deeply sorry and um, I want you to know that I am prepared to make amends. I don't know how you're going to feel about it, but I want, want to know how you and your mother were faring out there without me. Maybe we should start from you. Tell me. Tell me how a woman, an innocent woman working here for you, as a palace maid became pregnant for you. It is a long story. Very long. My queen. Yes, my king. Why are you moody? What is the problem? What troubles you? Why will I not be moody when I'm yet to give you a child? My king, my childlessness worries me a lot. Dear you go again. Dear you go again. How many times have I told you to be patient? That the children will come. They will come. When? My king, when? They will come. When are they going to come? We've been married for years now. And yet, there is no child in our family. Um, my queen. The doctor has assured both of us that we are headed, that nothing is wrong with us. So just relax. Oh. Relax your mind. They will come. That's exactly my problem. Yes. You're healthy and I'm healthy. So, why can't I conceive? Why? Why can't I bear your children, my king? Why? Um, I know it's the reason. Me. I know the reason why you are much consigned. I am the king and you are the queen. You, because you want to have a head to the throne. But yes. please, patient. They will come. Uh, meanwhile, what about the herbs the doctor gave to you? Are you still taking it? I have finished taking the herbs already and nothing to show for it. Don't worry, my queen. Don't worry. Hmm? Very soon, we'll have our own children. Oh. You are going to give me sons and daughters. Hmm? Cheryl. 
It's okay. <sighs> Let me keep waiting. Do you care for? I am my 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 I am
Let me get to you. Okay, I'm going. Oh, young maiden, how are you? How are you doing? You have been busy cleaning everywhere since today. Don't you get tired? Your Majesty, that is what I'm here to do. It's my job. I know, I know it's your job. But at least, you need to relax. You have worked so hard. I want you to relax and enjoy working. Hmm? <laughs> Your Majesty, definitely not in this house. You know it's not possible. It is possible. Everything is possible. In fact, I want you to stop whatever you're doing now and relax and enjoy with me. The king. I don't understand what you're saying, Your Majesty. Um, see, you understand everything I'm trying to say. Hmm? If I didn't mind. I'm so much in love with you. Yes. I want you to relax and enjoy with me a little. Play with me. I'm sorry, Your Majesty. I can't do what you're asking for. I mean, it's no good for a man of your status. Your reputation. It's not ah, right. If I did, man. This has got nothing to do with my reputation or status. Eh? Your Majesty, what if the Queen sees us or finds out? Um, are you the one that will tell the queen? Are you going to tell the queen? Besides, the queen is not even around. She went to the hospital and she's not coming back anytime soon. So, relax. Come and enjoy with the king. Just relax. Let us enjoy ourselves. Enjoy with the king. If you demand, enjoy with the king. What are you saying? I can't do this thing. If it didn't stop. Greetings, Your Majesty. You both on your knees now. You summoned us, Your Majesty. Yes, I did. Why did you both lie to me? We did lie to you, Your Majesty. Shut up! For your information, Choma here already told me everything you both said to her earlier. And when I asked you, you said you knew nothing. We are sorry, Your Majesty. We don't just want to cause any trouble in this house. Really? If you don't want to cause trouble for yourselves, start talking. Tell me what has been happening behind me. Uh, it's the King and Ifedim. They seem to be too close to each other lately, especially the King. They usually spend some time whenever you go out. What? Are you sure about what you're telling me? Are you serious about this? Yes, Your Majesty. We can't lie to you, Your Majesty. No. It happens when you're not around. It seems that if Edima is pregnant, and what? that is why she's avoiding everybody this house. If Edima pregnant in this house? No way. This can't be possible. Your Majesty, she asked sluggishly these days. This cannot be true. This better be a lie. No way.
are you having an affair with my husband? Are you sleeping with my husband? Your Majesty, to be honest with you, it was never my intention. It was the king who pushed me to. Shut up! It was never your intentions. And you didn't bother telling me what was going on. I don't want to create misunderstanding between you and the king. And I don't want to lose my job. Obviously! Because you wanted to be the king's wife. Are you pregnant for him? How long have you been pregnant for my husband? It's been four months now, Your Majesty. I never noticed. How sneaky you are! I'm sorry, Your Majesty. It was never my intention. Please forgive me. You are heartless! Remember how I met you? Where I picked you up from? You were so hopeless! You told me you had nobody. That you had nothing! And I picked you up. I brought you here to help you! Is this how you intend to pay me back? On your knees. Kneel! Open your mouth. I said, open your mouth! Open your mouth! If you truly cared about my mother, you would have, have bothered to know how she feels. Most importantly, you would have found that she was pregnant for you. Listen, son, I cared about your mother. I, I tried, son. No. Perhaps you didn't try harder. Listen, I tried so much. But she kept running away from me. And I didn't want it to look as if I was forcing her, you know? So, because of that, I now, you know, left her up, you know, but I didn't want to cross her boundary. If she had told me she was pregnant, do you think I would allow her to go and suffer on the street? If you had found out she was pregnant, what would you have done? Look, son, I accept it. It's my fault. It's all my fault and I accept that I promise I'm going to make it up for you. I'll make it right. Uh, um, but we should also look at it this way that she didn't tell me she was pregnant. She didn't tell me she was pregnant. She was scared. She never wanted anyone to know she was pregnant because of what it would do to your reputation. Your Majesty, you won't behave as if no one is talking to you. 
Your Majesty. Hey, leave me alone. I don't even want to look at your face now. What do you mean by that? Do you know exactly what that means? I knew it. I knew that everything would change the moment that intruder bastard entered this compound. Point of correction. My son is not an intruder. My son is not a bastard. And his presence here is not going to change anything. The only thing that is changing things in this palace is what he did. Or you think I wasn't going to know? Mm. Truly, I don't care what he must have fed you with, Your Majesty. I don't even want to know the color he painted me. What I know is that I did what I did to save my husband from embarrassment. Embarrassment? What kind of embarrassment are you talking about? Let me ask you. Do you think I am ashamed of what I did? Huh? Are you kidding me, Your Majesty? You're not ashamed. You're not ashamed of sleeping with your maid? A man of your caliber? That's too much. Sunday and you know it. <laughs> uh, now, let me ask you just one simple question. Who were you before I married you? You were nobody. But already, I was a famous king. I did what I did to clear up my husband's mess. But fine. Everybody is going back and forth, back and forth, over the past. No one is even recognizing the fact that you cheated on your wife, this woman. I guess you had the right to do so too. Well, you can say whatever you want. But this new boy in this house is my blood and flesh. So you better get ready because very soon I am going to introduce him to the Council of Chiefs and Elders. You wouldn't do that, Your Majesty, would you? <laughs> do you realize that you cannot stop me from doing whatever I wanted to do? That's what you've not even realized. I greet you. Okay. I can see you all are having a meeting without inviting me. And the reason I wasn't invited is what I don't know. Father, why wasn't I invited to this meeting? You didn't even see these elders here seated. You didn't greet them. Okay. Elders of our land. I greet you all. Father, can we begin the meeting now? Very well. Um, Nietzsche and elders, I greet you. Amen. The reason I summoned you here today is very simple. Let me not go into little, little details. This young man sitting here is my son. What? Your Majesty, do you have another wife outside? Ichiya knows here. I am still talking. Why don't you allow me to Father, leave? answer the question. Do you have another woman outside? The simple answer is yes or no. So. I don't want your input in this meeting. You better sit down and listen. Father, I will not sit. Yes. Okay, let me help you. Elders of this land, my father here, the king, had an affair with a woman years ago. Please keep quiet and stop talking. My father here, the king, had an affair with a woman years back. A woman, he got pregnant. And just last week, from nowhere, this intruder so faced, claiming he is my brother. Don't call him by that name again. You call him whatever I choose or whatever I please. He is an intruder. You are not part of this family and I can never see you as my brother. Um, 
Prince Obinna. Your father said you should sit down. Why don't you listen to him? Huh? Why would I listen to you? Pretender. Pretender! Have you ever approved of anything I do in this palace? Have you? How will I approve whatever you want to do in this palace when you don't listen to anybody? All you do is to fight and quarrel. Oh yes, I will fight and quarrel with people like you because you're nothing but a wicked man. And let me tell you, let me clear you this thing this minute. Whenever I become the king of this land, you can never be part of my cabinet. So be it. I can never be part of that cabinet that belongs to such an arrogant king. And me too. Mamu Akwa, really? including me. Really? Uh, uh, Your Majesty, please, I am very, very sorry. Please, can we continue this discussion next time? I am my yeah, so I hope you are not bothered about your brother's uh, oh. behavior yesterday. Not bothered. I respect you now. Yes, there is this land that um, that has been in dispute between us and the neighboring kingdom. In fact, we've been Comforting each other over the land, even when my father was a young man. We have fought several battles. A lot of young people lost their lives. And uh, we've been in court a couple of times. Yet we cannot take control of the land. So what is the smartest way for us to claim that land? The land contains some treasures in it. That is why it is important to us. What treasures are you talking about? Well, we have sharp sand, you know, gravels, stones. It has a beach in it because there's a massive lake there. Why, why are we even laying claims to the land that doesn't belong to us? Maybe you should tell me why we have to lay claims on the land that doesn't belong to us. You don't even have anything to say. Father, you just said it now, that your father fought for the land since he was little. And up till he died, he still wasn't able to win that land. And I'm sure, Father, you've been fighting for this land even before I was born. And up till now, the land still doesn't belong to you. So, Father, why can't we just see it from the other side? That probably we're greedy, or should I say selfish? Why are we fighting for something that doesn't belong to us? You've gone to court several times. You still did not win the land, remember? So what other proof, what other points do they have to make that the land doesn't belong to us? If we want that land, Father, or if we want to um, benefit from that land, I think it's about time we reach compromise, reach agreement. I mean, have affiliation with these people, negotiate with them that we both can actually benefit from that same land. It's that simple. Then peace will reign. So you see, Father, I don't know if I've made points. Yeah. It's time for my medication, so I'll leave you now, head straight to the hospital, and probably see you when I come back. That's okay. I wish you well. I'll see you soon, Father. Thank you. Right. Um, my prince, my prince, I hope your brother's attitude yesterday did not make you feel bad. 
Not at all. Um, please, if you need anything, just let me know. I'm at your service. It's all right, Uzo. Thank you. Okay, my name is Ifai Chuku. I'm a friend to the royal family. Oh, my brother's fiance. Um, no, not exactly. I mean, we're still getting to know ourselves, but um, I don't think he's working. <laughs> but why? My brother is a good guy. Um. I saw you the other day. I saw you with an inhaler. Um, oh, yes. Um, I'm asthmatic. For how long? Since I was a child. I can imagine being asthmatic for that long. Well, let's just say I'm used to it. So sorry about that. Um, I'm not a nurse yet. I'm still practicing. But I have a doctor friend who can help. Thank you. So, um, my brother, how is it going with them both of you? time I will see you close to my gear. The next time I see you close to her again, I will slice you to pieces. Obina, please don't start. Don't start what? Huh? Don't start what? He's your brother. Who the hell is, is my brother? That's intruder. He can never be my brother. What are you doing with him? Please, I am discussing about his hair. You were discussing about his head as as what? Huh? Do you even know that intruder? I am talking to you, my friend. Come back Get here! Get your hands off me! Get out! Hey! Do not walk away from me! Do not try it best time in your life! What is going on? Ha! Huh? Can you imagine? Oh. What is it? Uh, your Majesty, I think it would be a good idea if we invite uh, Prince Obina and the other one to be part of this meeting. Well, I don't think uh, that would be a wise thing to do at this point. We don't need them just yet. Mm? You, you, you can go on, uh, Achebe. Oh, thank you, Your Majesty. Um, I really appreciate you heeding my advice to convene the, this meeting so that we will discuss the important issue concerning the royal house. Your Majesty, and we know that that discovery must have an effect on who will succeed your throne. So, Your Majesty, we are here to ask a very simple question. Who among your sons do you think is eligible to succeed this throne in case if you answer the call of our ancestors? Onu uh, uh, it wouldn't be necessary now gathering all of us here. We have other important things to do. We all know the next king of this kingdom, which is Prince Ubina. We have groomed him right from the womb. So there would have been no need for this meeting. Ah, yeah, here. One thing you must know that is permanent in life is change. Mm -hmm. And that change has taken place now. The child was saying what is right. Oh. There is no change anywhere. Prince Ubina is 
next king of this land. Let me make you understand. The young man in question might be a son of the soil. No doubt about that. An illegitimate child to the king. But I want you to understand that the mother is not legally married to the king. So Prince Obina has no competitor. He is our next king. Um, it's I don't think you are completely right in that your assumption. Hmm? Not being legally married to uh, the mother does not make him less a son to me. It does not take away the fact that he's still my son. I, the king, has the power. The right to choose who succeeds me or succeeds me on the throne. It is true that I discovered my eldest son just recently. But he's also, he's also my son. That's the most important thing, is it not? Listen, talking of illegitimacy. Tell me where it is written in the laws of this land that an illegitimate son of the king cannot be king. No, I need you to answer it. Illegitimacy is not the only thing, the only interesting thing you need to know about that young man. Hmm? He has sterling leadership qualities required in a king. And I, King Ezenna, will not make mistake in handing over the throne. Uh, uh, Your Majesty, honestly, I don't know what the king intends to do. From what I'm observing, he don't seem to be thinking straight. He acts as if he's uh, under a kind of spell or something. I cannot doubt what you just said. Because... My husband does not do the thinking anymore. He allows people to think for him. But there's no problem. They will not succeed. You are the only ally I have. And I want you to put your ears to the ground and keep me posted. Your Majesty, that will not be a problem. Whatever that comes up, I will let you know. Good. All right, thank you very much. I really happen in this world. Who could have believed that Prince Obina is not the only son of our king? My dear, that sounds me right. Mm. Uh -uh. Why are you sounding like that? Uh -uh. Have you forgotten that Prince Obina is the next king of our kingdom? There, he's so arrogant, so proud of himself. I even heard that the king have not choose his successor. Like yes. seriously? Hmm. Well, as for me, how I wish Prince Obina would be the chosen one. Mm. I have a crush on him. How I wish he'd be the next king. I so much love him. Onyoro, keep dreaming. That is your business. Why are you sounding like that? Because when I say I love him, I love him. He is my crush, my sugar Ken. Bad ballet. I overheard your deliberation with the chips. And from what I gathered, it seems you, you want to favor your intruder's son. Your Majesty, why would you want to gamble with the kingship just because you want him to love you? Why? I don't remember any intruder son that I want to favor with the kingship. But if you are talking of my eldest son, I am pleased to report to you that we have made amends. And he bears no grudges against me anymore. In fact, he calls me father and um, 
We love ourselves so much. Your Majesty, he is just pretending. I don't even trust him. You, you may not trust him. In fact, nobody is asking you to trust him. And talking about the kingship, I have not made my decisions yet. So why is everybody scared? Your Majesty, everybody is scared because you are giving us the impression that you want him to succeed. That boy is sick. He is not mentally and physically fit to be a king. Why don't you wait until I make my decisions first? How about that? Destiny cannot change. Whatever will be, will be. Mother, I know how troubled your heart is, and I also know how heartbreaking it can be. But I want to assure you that I'm doing something. You're doing something. This is not the first time you're telling me this. Not the second, nor the third time you're telling me you're working on something. Mother, you're working on something, yet the elders and everyone announced that bastard as my father's son. My elder brother, for that matter. And you know what that means, mother. Son, just calm down. You don't need to scream. That my plans did not work the first time or the second time does not mean it will not work now. Just relax. Why would I relax? No, tell me, why would I relax? Mother, you know how well I've waited for this kinship. You know how well I want to ascend the throne after my father. You know how well we have discussed about this. How I'll rule this kingdom. You know how well. Huh? And someone from nowhere, a manette, and said he's my elder brother, and he wants me to calm down. How do you want me to calm down, mother? How? Still screaming at your mother. It's fine, okay? Your mother is a go-getter. I am working on something very big. Relax. I got you. I do. Are you sure? <sighs> All right, mother. Okay. Will you eat now? I'll drink. Understand. So, how are you doing? Um, as you can see, I'm um, good. You? Very well. Oh, nice dress. Thank you. Thank you. So, tell me, how have you been coping with your crazy husband? Well, um, it's still my brother, no True. matter what. Yeah. True. I try as much as I can to avoid his troubles and every other thing. I can imagine his problems. That is actually why I requested for this date. So you can have a good time. Now, yes, you're quite appreciated. Thank you. Now tell me about yourself. I mean, how you grew up, why your mother left the real house, and what happened after then? Trust me when I say it's a long story. It's not something I, I like to talk about. But as soon as you've asked, uh, there's really nothing about me, just uh, I lost my mother when I was still a toddler. Oh, so sorry about that. Oh, it's all right. I was blessed with a man that took care of me, a man I call father, a man that nurtured me, a man that made sure I was, I was looked after, you know, because before he met me, I, 
I was living in an uncompleted building. You don't say an uncompleted building? Yes. That's not safe. I can imagine. Story of my life. Sorry. Ah, it's all right. The most important thing is that we're here now. True, true, true. Uh, so, uh, enough of me. Let's talk about you. Me? Yeah. Oh yeah, he was. So um, enough of me. You know, how you coping with my brother? I mean, how's your relationship doing? Oh. Ooh. Um. To be honest with you, mm -hmm. I don't even know what I am doing with that boy. What? Yes. I mean, I'm not. I mean, I'm not committed to him. I can't... I think we're not compatible. I'm not emotionally attached to him. I have to tell myself the truth. I'm not sure I can continue with him. I have to just stop lying to myself. It's not working. We're not compatible. That's the honest truth. We're good to go. Okay. Uh, it's okay, thank you. Well, I want to go Where are you going? I want to see my son. Your Majesty, why don't you just sit down and let us eat? Well, let me just go and find out what is happening there. You will see him. Sit and eat. You know he doesn't like to eat with us. That's all the more reason why I should see him. And this must stop. He must eat with us at all times. Your Majesty, don't worry yourself. He's a big boy. Just eat with him. Mother, I think good. Oh, thank you. Father, you still insist on eating here? Yes, Father. I think I'm more comfortable here. Listen, son. Every time I see you eat alone outside of the family, you make me think that I am not doing enough to bring my family together. Oh, Father, you do more than just your best to bring us together, and it's working. These things take time. For now, I think I'm, I'm comfortable here. Anyway, uh, there is something I want to discuss with you. I'm listening, Father. Good. How would you feel being the next king of this kingdom? Uh, eat together. I want to eat with you. Oh, Father, you look. You want us to eat together? Ah. Yeah. Wow. No, no. Oh, okay. Hello, son. How are you?
that is so nice. I am fine. How is your health? Yes, I'm good. I had a nightmare last night. I saw that you were sick. Are you sure you were fine? I dreamt that you were rushed to the hospital last night. I hope all is well with you. Uh, yes, I did. And I want you to prove it too. Have a nice time. Good night. It's alright. Doctor, did you just say poison? I'm sorry the king is dead. What did you do to my father? I'm asking you. Why? Did you kill the king? What did you do to my father? Hey, 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 hey! What did you do to my father? Can you hold your peace? Why did you kill the king? There's no time for that. What is this boy talking about? How can I possibly? Will you shut up? Who is your father? We don't even know where you came from. I am Detective James from the State Police. You are under arrest for the murder of King Ezena. Good. You have the right to remain silent for whatever you say or the right here will be used against you in the court of law. And you have the right to an anatomy. If you don't have one, the state is willing to get you. We are not providing anything for him, my friend. Move this man! Move him! Good. Move! Move him! Murderer! Move! Officer, not just him, okay? We also have the cook. Arrest her to everybody that is involved in this case. Arrest all of them. We'll take Put them in your van and take them. Can you please move it? Move! Are you looking at him? Move this man! Move, please. Move it. Should I help you do your job? Move this man! Can you move, please? Mother! Let's go! Upstairs! Young man, to be very frank with you, I have been restraining myself from using strict measures on every one of you in our custody. It is obvious that nobody wants to help me out here. But let me tell you, this is just the first phase of this interrogation. By the time we get to the second phase, I will be left with no choice than to inflict an unbearable pain on all of you. So you had better stop talking. You were the one that said. Yes, I am. Good. So tell me exactly what happened. I was in the kitchen with the cook, as I always do. So she served the food. I and I start serving. Did you watch her closely when she was busy teaching the food? 
I was there with her. She didn't poison the food. And you never noticed if anyone sneaked into the kitchen to have the food poisoned? I didn't see anyone. Then I'm I swear. listening. I'm listening. Go ahead. I served the food to the family. And I served Prince Ifa and Chukwu's own separately. I was eating alone. Oh, God. This sounds pretty good. I like this. Yeah. Why that? Why would the prince want to eat separately? I think because he's having a problem with the queen and the younger prince since he returns to his father. So what happened next? The father joined him. That's when all these things started happening. You're not telling me that the prince poisoned the food. How will he poison his own father? You don't understand what is going on, young lady. The heart of man is desperately wicked. We live in a crazy world where crazy things happen. I am a detective. An interrogation and investigation is what I do. You all have better stop talking! This is a murder case we are dealing with and we are not ready to be taken by you. Get it! What's going on? Mother, I have, I have been meaning to ask you. You are aware of all the happenings in this palace. Like, the plans you said you had. Was it to kill my father? No, I know. No. He wasn't the target. That intruder was the target. You have to call us on for me, okay? So you can drop the food. Okay. All right. When you come back, you carry it. Not a good planner. Yes, you're not a good planner. This is not the first time, not the second time this is happening. It doesn't work. What are you, why are you doing all this now? You plan well and make it, make it work. Obina, what is your problem? Ha! Eh? What is your problem? Are you so dumb not to realize that your father's demise is an opportunity for us? Yes, now. How do you mean? Your father had already decided to make that stupid boy the king of our land. Huh? Oh. So this gives us an, an opportunity to fight for ourselves. All we need to do is to convince the chiefs. Mm. Mm. Good. <laughs> My mother. Mm. Mommy Mo. Mm. The smartest woman. Mm -hmm. Now you're talking. Now you and excuse me, mom. Okay. <clears throat> um, hello, detective. My prince. Yes, what's up? I'm very sorry we are nowhere close. The suspect is not saying anything. What do you mean you, you are still nowhere? Huh? What do you mean by that? Do you expect them to open up and tell you they are the ones that killed you? My, my, my father? My friend, force them to talk. Yes, that is why I called you. Force them to talk. 
that useless boy there that calls himself my brother he is the prime suspect he is the one that engineered all these things immediately he entered the palace my father died so make sure you keep him there and force him to talk he's a prime suspect and listen please the, uh, officer do not what did i say do not allow him to leave your custody on no account should anyone come there to bail him okay any amount it will cost i will pay just tell me your price name it i will pay but let him remain there let him remain there until i figure out what to do i'm understood all right my prince i've heard you hear from me son good how you're talking i will send you something later I believe you heard about the king. Yes, I heard. Now the problem is that they are accusing Prince Fine for poisoning the king. Oh no, no, I don't believe that. Why would really he want to kill his father? That's not possible. I don't believe that too. And the problem is they have arrested Prince Fine. What? And now that big head, that Prince Obina, for beeping to go and see him. What? Oh my god, how can he do such a thing to his own brother? How many times have I warned you never to step in your useless foot into this palace again? Huh? Have I warned you? To hell with you! To hell with you too! To hell with you too! Get out! No never come back here! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Animal! Arrogant bastard! This fool is idiotic, egocentric fool! You! Egocentric fool! Have I not warned you never to allow this prosecutor to come into this house again? Huh? Have I warned you or not? Let this nonsense repeat itself again. What? What is it? Tell me the damn truth! Did you poison the king or not? Detective. I couldn't have poisoned my own father. That food was meant for me. How would I have poisoned my own food? How? I keep having this feeling that you're not telling me the truth. <laughs> <laughs> now you look here. You see this thing I'm holding here? It's your life. And you know what that means? You can't do without it. So tell me the truth. Start talking to me! Officer, I did not poison that food. Be ready to tell me the truth when next we see. Else, you won't have your life back. I did not poison that food. I already told you everything that is happening in that palace. Someone wants me bad. I don't know who. But that food was meant for me. Since, since when have you been here? For some days now. The detective has mine. He has my inhaler. He's refused to give to me. I believe it's a plan work. They want me dead. Please. Please don't let it happen. Alright. We'll do something about this. Please. I'll get to the root of this, I promise. Get me out of here. Please. I'm trying to help the both of you. 
but I need you to tell me the truth. Did anyone pressure you to poison that food? No one pressured us, I swear. And you did not see anyone sneaking into the kitchen? She Think. didn't see anyone sneaking into the kitchen. But if someone did, we would have seen them. Unless they did that when we left the kitchen. Okay. I'll get back to you. All right. This whole thing does not make sense to me. I mean, the guy in question, you just met his father. and They're getting to know themselves. So what motive does he have to kill his father? Young lady, people's motives sometimes can be very implicated. I am a detective by profession and I have handled more cases tougher than this. We have seen people kill their parents, loved ones, even business partners. Unbelievable things happened. Is that why you seized his inhaler? Something you know he cannot live without? Are you trying to kill him or what? I am not trying to kill him. I am only doing my job. Investigation no, is ongoing. Please spare me that investigation bullshit. To me, this seems like an indirect assassination. It seems you know the truth, but you're trying to pin him on this. You know what? I will sue you for this, for attempted murder. Get ready. Who the hell is this? I thought you said this young man has nobody to, to help him. And who is this lady who is trying to put up a fight for him? Yes, she did. She's threatening to press charges. Come on. I'm not scared. It's just that I, I, I wasn't expecting this. I hope so. Well, my elders, I welcome you all. Thank you very much. Yes, um, we all know what follows next, immediately after our king's funeral, which is very, very important. And uh, we must have a decision on this matter before taking it to the palace. Um, it's unfortunate that we are still in this particular issue. Before our king answered the call of his ancestors. Even though we did not get a verdict from our king, but from his body language, we all know who our late king was pointing at to be the next king of this land. <clears throat> oh no. Uh, I will not claim ignorance of what you are saying about the body language of our late king but it's obvious as far as i'm concerned it was not the wisest decision i think uh, the king wanted to use the kingship of this great kingdom to compensate his eldest son i think that is out of sentiment Maybe you want to use that to build a kind of bond with him. As far as I'm concerned, that's my observation. Hmm. That's a lie, Anosia. Our late king was only choosing his eldest son because he saw a lot of potentials in him. Uh, if I may ask, like, uh, what kind of potential? Because as far as I'm concerned, since that young man came into that royal family, has been one problem to the other. The next thing now we've lost our king. So what potential are you talking about? Uh, please, if I may ask, are you trying to say that that young man killed our king? Oh no, Ichikopa. Biko, don't put words into my mouth. I didn't say that. The police is doing their job diligently. And from the update I'm getting from the interrogation, if that young man did not explain himself very well, 
he might end up in prison. I see. He can only go to prison if they find him guilty. Uh, 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 my fellow elders, please. Exactly. Uh, uh, my, uh, we cannot waste the whole day discussing a young man that is sorting out himself with the uh, police. Where this kingdom is blessed with a vibrant young prince, a open hearted young man, very generous. I discussed with him yesterday, and he assured me that once we crown him the king of this kingdom, that he will empower each and every one of us with one, one million. Is that not something? You are thinking about it because of money. We're talking about money, we're talking about buying and selling. We said, we're talking about selling here. Yeah. This is just simple arithmetic. Using one stone to kill two dead. We we'll cry him king and we we'll get empowered. What is wrong with that? I am highly disappointed at you. I am highly disappointed at you. Can you hear yourself? Look at what is coming out from your mouth. Is this really you? Oh, we okay, go. And the, and the empowerment. My elders, I've been at the police station. I saw Prince Ifain. His situation is very pathetic. He's been tortured with no food, no water. Obi Naya seized his healer. Please, my elders, I'm here to beg you people to ask Obina to release him. Because from what I saw, he is innocent. Look at who he's talking. Hey, hey, hey. I'm not done. Zombie. Look at you. Igbo man. You want, you, want, you, want, you want to shine your eye? Eh? I will pluck off your eyes now. Now, listen. Better watch what you say here. Okay? You're not even ashamed of yourself. Do you know what you're talking? Huh? Prince. Who is, who is the prince that if I is innocent? He is a murderer. Yes. He engineered the death of my father. He is the master planner. And he will die there himself. I will make sure with my highest level of authority and connection in this kingdom. I will make sure he face the consequences. Release him or I will sue you to court. Release him. Who will sue who? Who the hell are you? I regret ever knowing you. Young lady, are you a lawyer? No. Are you a judge? I am not. So how do you come to the conclusion that the uh, uh, person is uh, 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 fine? It's not the difference. His uh, name is defined. Uh, that the fine is innocent. I am a human rights activist. I fight for humanity. I know when someone is innocent. This man has been there with no food. No water without his inhaler yet. Thank you. Uh, my my head. If my memory serves me right, I remember that you brought this young lady to this palace for the first time. It was just a mistake. A big one. Please stop backing and do the needful. Release him or I will sue you to court. That's what I say, my friend. Oh, Why did you ask the police to seize his inhaler? Why? Why did he kill my father? Why? What a piece he dies. And so, is the king still alive? Is the king still alive? Um, uh, please, my people. Uh, let's uh, be calm. Um, I think we all know that um, our kingdom has a way of dealing with such situation. We have our own traditional way. And I know, I'm very sure you're aware of that. So, as the honor of this kingdom, Prince Obinna, will the cabinet members give you 24 hours to release Prince Ifani Chuku? And as a matter of fact, we are taking up this matter from here. It's no longer in your hand. So, keep off. Thank you, my elders.
What is going on here? I thought I warned you never to come into my house again. Did I warn you or not? And you? I fired you. Right? I fired you! Now, leave this palace this minute before I do something crazy. Why are you always shouting? I wonder. But Princess, don't shout. Come back. You fired him. I re-employed him. He's working here. Not your business. And here is my beautiful bride. <laughs> She's no longer your visitor but mine. Mm -hmm. Still not your business. <laughs> The earlier you begin to understand these things, probably we might just live together as brothers. Can he understand? I don't think so. What nonsense are you saying? Huh? What nonsense are you vomiting from the gutter you call him out? Now you listen to me. You own nothing here. You don't have a dime in this palace. So, leave this place now with this useless people you came here with. Otherwise, Otherwise, I will do something crazy. You know, do not push me. When you talk, I begin to understand the level of your mindset. A document of this house in which you call your palace. Have you set eyes on it? No. It's in my possession, which means the house you call palace, including you living here, is at my mercy. The earlier you begin to understand these things, the better for everyone. Oh, baby, I, I don't know. What are you even doing with this, this boy? Why do you want him to rule this palace with you? He's so arrogant, so wicked, and so useless. You're the one that is useless. You are useless. You are a fool. You are a mad. Prostitute. You are a prostitute. Give care. Man, prostitute. All care. No that's not you are. You're nothing but you are, a fool. You are in the I'll deal with you. You are a walking corpse. Fool. You are a walking so corpse. Look at this. This idiot. You are a walking corpse. Because you bastard! You're ashamed of yourself! Why should I be ashamed? Reflecting I on my brother! Yes! Prostitute! You're not ashamed of yourself! Did you reflect you on my brother! Animal! Wait, wait, wait! Did I just hear you say brother? Ha! So he's now your brother. Oh, that's sad. Now for your information, I have nothing to do with you. Or maybe we had. Did you hear that? Had! I met a better man now. Better than you. I don't care if it's your brother or not. You're you a can fool. come to her and burn to places. So all I care. Idiot. I'm out of here. Bastard. Look at her. Get out, prostitute. I don't want to see you here again. I'll come here. Leave this place this minute. Fool. Fool. And you? What are you doing here? Huh? Hey, 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 hey. Prince. Are you, are you there watching my friend? Deal with this boy. Go and deal with this idiot. My friend, go and... What, what do you mean, yes, my prince? Are you? Go and deal with... Are you there? Go and deal with it. What do you mean, my prince? Go and deal with this Are you not... Are you... Are you... Hey, 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 hey. Aren't you tired? Huh? Just take a good look at yourself. Look at where you're back in... Oh, 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 oh. You're a prince. Princes don't shout. Remain humble. Humility takes you far. You... Yeah. If he tries to act otherwise, you know what to do. Idiot. But don't, don't, don't touch me again. Are you ain't going, my friend? Come back here. Come back here. You, you, hey, hey, what, what, hey, hey. What Hold him. I you your blood. That's why I'm leaving you. I would have dealt with you there. Don't let him enter my palace. Don't let him enter my palace. What are you doing? What is this? Hi. What? That's me. That was because I was arrested. Arrested for what? Why would anyone believe you did such a thing? Well, my stepbrother thinks uh, I'm in competition with him. I feel he has the connection and maybe the part to arrest me and so he did. Hi! So how are you doing now? Huh? I think I'll come over to come and see you. Oh, no, 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 Papa. Don't, don't stress yourself. It's not something I can handle else I'll let you know. But for now, Trust me, I can handle it. Thank you very much for, for your concern. Papa, we are preparing for the burial arrangement of my father and then we can start talking about the kingship. Ah. Okay, I'll pray for you, son. I'll pray for you. No weapon fashioned against you shall prosper. 
any tongue that rises against you in judgment shall be condemned in Jesus' name. Amen. Papa, I'll call you back later. It's all right. It's all right. I knew since you were a little boy, I knew you came out to be a great man that you come to deliver a lot of people. So take good care of yourself, eh? I can't believe this. I can't thank you enough for the things you've done for me. It's okay, it's fine. You're welcome. I did what I did for a friend who was suffering. You don't deserve all what you went through. Mm -mm, you don't. What they did to you is inhuman. Well, that's my brother for you. He is not happy with me. He sees me as a competition. He feels that I am up for kingship. Little did he know that I'm not even interested. You're not interested. What are you trying to imply? Well, I'm not implying anything. I'm telling you directly. I'm not interested in kingship. I don't want to be king. But why? I mean, your father chose you. And Roman have it that the people choose you. You are the people's choice. You are the people's favorite. Is it really about being the favorite? It's about me, my health. People aren't talking about my health, my condition. I can be king with that, that condition. It's not going to work. Trust me, your condition is not a barrier. If you don't want to do this, at least do it for your father. He will never be happy wherever he is. Please, you have to take the crown. What is it? What you told me the last time concerning your relationship with my brother, it's been ringing in my head. I, I, do you? Do you actually mean those things you said about your relationship not working out with my brother? Trust me. I meant every word I said. Every single word. Why do you feel confident discussing everything with me? Why are you looking out for me? Why do you care so much about me? My fellow elders, I greet you. I would have preferred we do the wish of our let king. But for some reasons, some elders are beginning to think otherwise. Our let king um, left us with only indications but he wasn't specific according to our tradition is not left for us the cabinet members to choose between our two sons who becomes the next king and we must do that uh, by voting according to the tradition so my fellow elders i I think I have their permissions to proceed. Um, please, if you will want Prince Obin and Obi Oneski, indicate by raising of your hand. Okay. And um, if you will want Prince uh, Ifani Chuku to be our next king. Please indicate by raising of your hand. Uh, my fellow elders, and the person in here, Wanaka, Adi Yenye. It is three against two. 
So, uh, my friends, congratulations. Thunder well, strike you there, Chepe. It's like you're mad. Huh? You're a comedian. Yes, stand up comedian. That's who you are. Are you stupid? Huh? What's the meaning of this nonsense you just displayed there? This abracadabra. Is there a child's play? So you think I will sit here and watch you announce this bastard as my king? You're just going to shut up and don't you ever in your life call me that again. Who the hell are you? Who the hell are you? You are nothing but a bastard and nothing you will do about it. If I call you a bastard, don't you ever in your life... What will you do? Huh? Hey, 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 hey. You're a bastard. Hey, hey. Prince, if you Bastard! Principal and Chuku. That's who you are. Principal and Chuku. Principal and Chuku. Huh? Please. What do you want to do? Please. What do you want to do? I will just pop up your eyes. Please, now. please. So, my prince, let me just leave. Leave me. Have you seen it? Leave huh? Me. Have you seen it? Have you seen it? Have you seen it? Hey. Have you seen it? Hey. Have you seen it? Hey. Have you seen it? Have you seen it? Stop it! Allow me to go and confront them. These people are planning to kill you. Can't you see? They are planning to kill you. Maybe they won't. They cannot kill me. I won't. Don't tell me that. Just allow me to go and confront that, 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 that egocentric, that arrogant bastard. Allow me to do it. They will kill you. Baby, can you calm down? Please, put yourself together. This is getting too much. He's getting out of hand. Talk to him. Please, you need to listen to him. I know how upset you are now, but you have to respect his decision. No, 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 not on this. Not on this. I won't sit. In fact, we are not going to sit down here, fold our hands and watch these people kill us. No, we have to fight. We have to fight my king to be. We must fight. It will look very suspicious. I want you to to arrange it so that it will be like an accident. You get me? Already there's an investigation going on and a lot of eyes are on me. Uh, remember the red car in the picture I gave you? Yes. That is the car he drives often. Tell you when to strike. All right, I will do that. Wait. Good. Hello. At some point, I begin to wonder if we have forgot what we represent in this kingdom. If we, tattoo men, cannot do it, who else has the power to do it? Ah, each year. I don't really know what to tell you. But didn't you see the amount of aggression that boy displayed? Didn't you? Well, uh, for me, I don't see some, anything wrong with uh, what Prince Obina is doing. You didn't see anything wrong with that little boy of yesterday. Stopped us with the titled men from stepping our foot into the palace. And you said nothing. Is wrong with that? Why are you this senseless? Why? Oh no, with all due respect, don't ever call me senseless. If you are the one that what rightly belongs to you is taken away from you, would you react? What rightly belongs to who? Indeed. Didn't we follow the due process? We did. We voted, didn't we? And the eldest one won. Why do you want to talk with this selfish human being? Do you expect him to be reasonable when he is busy collecting bribe? Or have you 
forgotten how we want to talk us into changing our mind. Just in a day. Be, 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 what? Am I the one you're talking to like that? Be, you should, you, you should be bring it. Do you want to get out of control? What do you want to do? You are in my house during the night. Do you expect him to do this now? I am my I am my I am my Good to go, my prince. <laughs> oh, the sharp. How oh, does I'm a time? <laughs> yeah, you. <laughs> my prince, I'm not good. To go. Is it possible for you to just clean up this car? Then we will be good to go. <laughs> no problem, my prince. Five minutes. I will run it. He will be driving out soon. Okay? He will be driving out in a red jeep. Make sure you do a clean job. No drama. Make it look like an accident. Okay? Yes. I'll give you a balance when the job is done. Out. You're taking who out? My friend, hand over the keys to me before I do something crazy. Are you mad? You just... One, give me the keys. Idiots. They just told you I was supposed to go out with the car. I used to make you trouble. Which car? Well, I am going out with this car. Okay? Anything I say in this palace stands. The next time you try to double cross or interrupt me, I will disfigure your face. Don't try me. And you? What do you want to do? No, what do you want to do? You want to fight me? Huh? Do you want to fight me? Do you want, do you, do you want to fight me? Come on, bring it on. Please. Bring it on. Please, let me go, let me go. Animal. I will deal with all of you. Everybody, I will deal with all of you in this palace. Try me next time. Let me have it. Thank you. You may leave.
Majesty. Who just drove out? Your son went out to the Red Jeep. My son! My son! Get out! My son! Stop! Please, stop, stop. That, that, that's my son coming out. What? What is really going on? First, mysteriously, our king gone. Now, his brother. Ah, it's your nose If I am to say, or if you ask me. I can only give one answer, which is, it was just an accident. <laughs> oh no, it's just an accident. It sounds so good. But the only day he drove out with his elder brother's car, he just died. Just like that. So what are you saying? What am I trying to say? You want to hear what from my... Be very careful with me. Be very careful with me. I don't have anything to say. I only sympathize with the, with the queen for losing such a, a vibrant young son. It's over now. No more competition. <laughs> Not dead. You can now go ahead and cry him. He's now our next king. Who is there to compete with him? Let us go ahead and cry him. And we move forward. That's all. What else? Ah. Can I just believe that my own crush? You no, know, who just, who just sent Sorry, no, I'm going. Sorry, because sorry. Loving prince. Yeah, loving prince. Sorry. Next time, you love prince. Prince, you don't mean that. You don't mean that one. Oh, yeah, see what you have done to yourself. Come with me. Ah, who must be my own? Like my crush. I told you now. These people just, these people just, they just broke my heart. They just scattered my plan. No. Sorry. Sorry. Huh? Sorry. Stop crying. But I told you now. Shabby. <laughs> my own prince. No. Sorry. Whatever you want me to be. Don't cry. 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 You want to go mad? Walk up on your soul. Walk up on your soul. Oh, yeah, can I get you? Oh, where is it? Oh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm I am my I am 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 By the power vested on me as the Onohu of this great kingdom, I hereby crown you King Ifan Ijuku of Eba Chala. Whatever will be, no matter what you do, you cannot.
watching Niye chukukuru eku Why do you hate me so much? Why? First, it was my food. You poisoned my food. Unfortunately, my father at the food and met his early death. And then you made the second move. Unfortunately for your son. He met the doom set for me. And I've been thinking, pondering about this whole thing, and only one question comes to my mind. Why? Why do you hate me so much? Why are you bent on killing me? You've been chasing me since I was in my mother's womb. And you forget that I'm a child of grace. No sinner will go unpunished. You've done enough already. The others will decide your fate. No man can curse, not even you. Chuma kukuma. 
Uchemaju, a boy, you teach you to. Uchemaju, a boy, you teach you to.